is a real key to this team. And he is taking that aggressive, assertive mentality into this season so far as he gets Virginia's three point play moments. Center our officials tonight Gary Maxwell, Les Jones, and Craig Murley. Cowboys going to see a, a little bit different team at both ends. First line drive, a little floater earlier this season. Yeah, he's shown he hit the glass too, had a double double a couple games before that. And there he is. Pulling. The mm. old guard for K-State. Yep, now the native. Oh, yeah, the yeah. The the West, I believe. Definitely from the state of... We're tied at 23. Into the corner. It won't fall for Harris. But another look here for the Governors. Going in front of the no, -words, no man's land. And the block from Allstork, but it will find the hands of Taylor. Who they are a little unsure as well, so it's, it's tough for them to really step up a lot. Good job hawking the rock. Deep shot clock situation. Seven to shoot. The lefties. Time freshman of the week already this year in the conference. The lefty can shoot the three. Dayton Gum couldn't have been any closer. That guy just got up and what a shot. No double team on Taylor. He wants to back in the left hander jump hook. Possibly the wrong possession to say it, but in terms of that long term, able to hang around. Nice lob into Ugba. Sets up Taylor and he throws. And it looks like Troy is going to go. Don't force anything from outside. You got to get in, try to draw a foul. Taylor Never had a really tough night uh, against uh, Belmont. Two of 11, just four points. Toppers want a much better start tonight. As you see that starting lineup on your screen, no changes for Coach Figure. A deep three. Yeah, we'll get him there in about 30 seconds for the next whistle after that. Three on the shot clock. Taylor hit. Just seven of 23 from the floor. The block. Taylor the trailer. Taylor hits the Your game plan is going to be interesting to see if they really get out and defend the shooters a little bit more aware here to start the second half. Taylor. percent on the year. He just got a second career double-double at Murray. Taylor, quick three, got it. Turnies for Southeast Missouri, just like uh, the Gums of Austin P. Here's a three, Taylor. Lights it up, the lefty. Denzel I think he had 31 in that game against TSU. Shot clock again, very late. Taylor, straight away, three, good! Harris had a nice flurry of back-to-back -back buckets a moment ago. Shot clock at eight. He's picked up on a switch, hits Taylor. Taylor off balance, and he still put it in. Good tip by Taylor. Taylor back up, put it in, count it, and he's fouled. In transition, Taylor, a by Gum. Two on one, Gum leaves it all. Oh! Gum attacking, Gum over the window, follow try, couple chances here. The four. 
Ivory works against McLean up top. Taylor. Ivory good bounce feed into Taylor. Knocked away. I think Boyd and Mayo got a hand of that each. But it in recent years for the OBC championship in the tournament final a couple of times. Taylor, nice finish. See, and this is a desperate EKU team. They won their last two road games and then dropped two straight at home just as they thought they'd turn the corner. Good lob mm. underneath, and Taylor sends it. Taylor will rise and fire again, right? Under four to play, 13-point lead. Taylor, been quiet offensively, banged in two. Count the bucket. You get a little restless here. They've led by eight. Good entry pass and the bucket. <laughs> Gets down court quicker than anyone. Turns around off the glass. A good pass. Teams averaging 13 points per game. Again, late in the shot clock. They really make you work on the offensive end. Of the guys have been very good at home. 12 and 3 this year. Only one OBC loss. That came to Tennessee Tech. Here's a deep three. And it's good. Because Belmont has already won. If they win, they clinch it outright. The number one seed. If they lose tonight, they'll be the two seed. Good inbound. But getting up there, but not causing any fouls. Taylor can shoot that three as we've seen earlier. And he'll step up. Buchanan, 40, ste 40 steals on the year so far. He'll, he'll take it from you if he can. We haven't even played three minutes. Taylor. Good. He puts up, goes in. It's crazy to watch. He's already at 24 points on the night. Taylor to answer. Good. In this. Taylor gets a touch. The left hander puts it in. Today feels like Luke could be more vocal, but he said, "You know what? If he's not now, as a fifth-year senior, it's my fault that he isn't." Now Luke has let us up a brick. Lot on the rebound. Here's Taylor. Approaching six to play. Austin P needs a run. Range shots, and and this is one of the least known facts about Belmont. They're top three in the nation in two-point percentage field goals because it's either a layup. Or to get to the free throw line. Does have double digit rebounds. Porter Buck gets it down to Terry, the freshman of the year. The OBC puts it in. CPB rims out a heartbreak three. Taylor comes up with it, throws it down. Early on, the Flames are here to play defense as well. Glada gets a three, though. Guess who? Offensive rebound leader for the. Just couldn't get it done. Flames showing in the first 10 seconds. They really want to get this one rolling. But Terry Taylor wants one right back. Got already going. Two top, well, pardon me, not two top, two outside three-point range they try. And then they both go down low, and it's really been back and forth. Terry Taylor teardropping it. Oh. Not bad for a guy who averages just under 10. Terry Taylor up with the left hand. We're under nine minutes here in the Dunn Center. Terry Taylor with a wide open hoop. Terry Taylor now has it. Looks like he's going to try to do the work himself. Gets it with the left hand. Can't get it to fall. Offensive rebound. Gets it to go.